guys and girls, this is JJ here again with a demo, a review demo of the Matthews effects, the chemist. And this is a really cool multi-effect kind of pedal. Um, it has chorus, analog chorus. It's got a phaser, as you heard in the first two examples, and it's got an octave effect. Um, and this pedal looks a little bit uh, complex to use. If you take a look at the at the pedal, it's got six dials and two mini toggles and two foot switches, but it's actually a very simple pedal. Um, so it, it houses three effects, as I said. It has the cobalt chorus, it has the uh, iridium phaser, and it has the lithium octave effect. And what you were just listening to was the iridium phaser. So if you look at it like this, you have two foot switches. This one is just the bypass switch. And by the way, I'm playing my trusty Kaufman 63 Tele with Tone Rider pickups. Here's the neck pickup clean sound. Both pickups. And the bridge pickup. If I engage the pedal, uh, I'm actually only using these three controls. They're labeled reaction, catalyst, and formula. And as I said, even the um, even the effects are uh, have elements, names. So um, uh, it's a really cool pedal design-wise too. So I'm on the iridium phaser setting right here. And when I toggle this, I'm on the chorus setting. Toggle it to the right position. I'm on the octave setting. Okay, so let's go back to the phaser just as an example and we're only looking at these three controls. So what do these do? Um, this one over here controls the resonance of the phaser. We had it set right at 11 o'clock, so for more of a vintage phase kind of sound. If I just crank that up... middle control, the catalyst control, controls the speed. So I can just crank that and it will sound like this. Okay, which is kind of ridiculous of course, but I'm sure somebody out there has a use for it. If you do make a video and uh, give me the heads up, I'd love to hear it. So... Nice and slow. Still very usable on faster settings if you use uh, a lower resonance point. Okay. So what I did in the first two examples, I had this top row of controls set up for more of a vintage kind of phase sound, like you heard on uh, the Have a Cigar kind of lick that I played. If I engage this foot switch, I'm actually going to the lower row of controls, which do exactly the same. They're also labeled Reaction, Catalyst, and Formula. Still set to the phaser sound on both of these, uh, uh, these effect settings, uh, but with um, more resonance, the difference would be this. So this is actually the bottom row of controls. With a very deep resonance and toggle to more of a vintage kind of phase sound. And that opens up a lot of possibilities, as I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so what does the reaction control do? Regard this as a mix control. So I'm getting full affected uh, signal when it's turned fully counterclockwise. So I'm actually adding more of the dry guitar when I turn this up. Okay, as I said, there's a cool use for this alternative foot switch. For example, if you want to mimic like a Leslie speaker effect. So let's just go to the cobalt chorus, set both of these to the center position, set it to cobalt, set the controls to 12 o'clock, all of them, and start tweaking. So right now, at the noon settings, we get a really nice um, analog chorus kind of sound. When we tweak that, it's the same deal here, like with the phaser, it's the speed. Okay, and that's the depth. So this can make you feel a little bit queasy, and more so when we uh, dial back the reaction. Virtually unusable, unless you're Graham Coxon. 
If I turn up the reaction control, I'm getting more of the dry guitar mixed in. So it becomes a lot more usable. Nice rich analog chorus sound. So I like it about here. Maybe a little faster. Okay. So I'm just going to copy those settings on the lower row of controls exact same settings when I toggle it it sounds the same but if I roll up the speed on this row of controls and then engage the foot switches I'm gonna get the same sound only faster which is what a Leslie speaker does a rotating speaker of course the chorus effect is something else than a Leslie speaker but you can approximate that effect that is put to great use by many famous guitar players so the speeding up and down of a Leslie effect so it even ramps up and down just a little bit. Alright, so you can play stuff like this. to use it in that way. Of course you could also um, set up the chemist to use diff two different modulation effects for the two different roles of controls. So I'm going to go back to the phase setting that I had in the beginning, something like this, on this setting. So here's that chorus setting and here I'm on the phase setting. And you, make a, you can make any combination you want with that. One thing we haven't touched upon is the octave setting, which is also kind of a cool effect. I'm just going to go back to the top row of controls now, set them all back to 12 o'clock, and go to the, um, uh, the lithium uh, octave sound, which sounds like this. A little bit organ-esque. So if I dial back on the formula control, that's actually the lower octave. So let's, let's dial that out and the middle control the catalyst is the upper octave With the reaction all the way down that's full affected signal you can mimic radio ad kind of thing it sounds cooler when you dial in more of the clean guitar sound dial back on the upper octave simply leave off the lower octave for more of a 12 string kind of sound the upper octave and go for the lower octave still with a nice blend of clean sound in there uh, which is cool for riffing I guess <laughs> in the in the signal so it, it, it tracks well but it's a little slow and saggy which can be kind of cool so as I said I can just go uh, back and forth between for instance my 12 string kind of sound <laughs> back to that chorus sound that I had. So who is this pedal for? 
Um, I'm guessing if you play indie or alternative rock, it has uh, two cool modulations plus an octave effect and one single pedal, so it's not going to take up too much real estate on your pedal board, which is a very cool thing. Uh, also, if you're into classic rock, you know, like Pink Floyd and stuff like that, 70s stuff, um, Robin Trower, uh, you can set this up, or, or even SRV, you can set this up as a faux Leslie, you can use uh, the phaser every once in a while if you want, and if you need that 12 string sound for a Beatles cover or a Birds cover, it's in there too. It's a really usable pedal, both for the modern and the more traditional guitar player. So find out more about this pedal on MatthewsEffects.com. My name's JJ, signing off. See you next time. JJ out.